Well, a very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you so very much for tuning on to the Life Signatures Radio. If this is your very first time to tune on to the show, you'll find out that it is a daily show that is focused on talking about the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience every waking day. You're looking for teaching, you're looking for inspiration, looking for motivation, looking for instruction on those three areas, plus many other related This is the show. Right now, we are in the middle of a series. We've been talking about personal blockades. What is a blockade? It is as a result of us believing something as if it is a fact, even though it is not. And therefore, we create limitations and we stand on our own way of succeeding. We become our own enemies, our own blocks, our own uh, walls against our success. That's what a blockade is in very many words of my own definition. Today we're going to go deeper in what we've been discussing about spiritual blockades and how to overcome. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So let us just do a recap here and find out where we've come from. We've been keeping saying that you and I are spirit. As long as we are human, we are spirit and we are eternal. We precede our existence in the physical body. We will exceed our existence in the physical body because we are spirit. And if we constitute spirit, whether we are religious or irreligious, we constitute spirit. And if that is the case, chances are that within the makeup of spirit or in our spiritual realms, in our spiritual platforms, there could be some blockades that we've propped up one way or another that will hinder us from succeeding and being the best possible outcome, best possible versions of ourselves. The greatest possibilities about our lives cannot be realized when we have a spiritual blockade operating. How do we resolve this? First of all, we've got to realize where these things come from. Number one, we say that it can come from the lack of purpose. Lack of purpose means that you are here for something and you don't know what that is. You see, already that is a blockade. Number two, we talked about this. We said it could be something to deal with a dormant or diminished sense of self-worth. You believe you can't and therefore you don't. You believe you don't deserve and therefore you don't attempt. This lack of self-worth, see, people diminish themselves. Even though it is written for them to become great, they cannot become great unless this sense of self-worth has been made healthy. Number three, we talked about this lack of curiosity. And let me tell you, let me just explain shortly. Lack of curiosity, we explained from the angle of you just receiving things from the past generation or from Stara school and you don't question the Stara school. And we said spirit is in the things that are not known, the things that are yet to be. These things that are yet to be are only going to be realized when we are bold enough to question, to ask. To question is not to become a rebel. It is to be enlightened. And therefore lack of curiosity itself means that you are zombified. And therefore, there is a blockade, a spiritual blockade operating in your life. Yesterday, we did t- talk about something very powerful. We said that there is basically no conviction. When there is no conviction for life, for something personal in your life, something that you're convicted about in this life, 
it could be about educating the girl child it could be about making the desert to shine and you know erad- eradicating deserts it could be about technology and solar system whatever it is it could be about just about anything what is the conviction that i have in my life for me my conviction is about inspiring people so if i do not have conviction above the idea of just living to pay bills and living to eat then there is a blockade in my life today let us talk about this interesting one this is going to be interesting maybe short maybe long depending it is number 5 religiosity oh lord almighty have mercy here religiosity i don't know if you've heard this thing called sheeple hmm do you know how people are normally lured into cults and they kill themselves it is religiosity it's some some someone said actually that religion is the opium of the masses makes people drunk they can't question their man of god I mean it can be a, such a stupid thing that somebody is saying but they can't even question it they believe it hook line and sinker and there is crazy things that are being done out there in the name of religion i'm telling you we see crazy things we see people go to church and they remove their clothes and the pastor washes them these are these are women and the congregation is watching I don't know if that's church or there's something else. They call it church by the way. Anyway, let me compose myself so that I can be able to re- release this point. We're talking about spiritual blockades and religiosity could be one area where there is a blockade. Because religion is simply human beings trying to figure this thing out about eternity and about God, trying to explain the the divine as if the divine is hiding and is so complex and so disinterested in having a relationship with us it's one of this anyway let me not go there we realized too that the divine was the author of life and all along the divine was reaching out to us directly through our hearts however we delve into religion because we do not trust the nature of the divine having a personal experience and relationship with us we 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 put the divine out there up there distant aloof angry the result is that we have a collective group thing we have gathered ourselves around men and around women who have tried to explain the divine as if ourselves personally we cannot reach the divine we've got to go through some intermediary this intermediary are flesh and blood just like you and I and are going to die some of them die before you so what happens if your man of god dies are, are you seeing how stupid some things can be but excuse me here is the litmus test it doesn't matter what name you call your religion for as long as you do not have a special personal relationship with your spiritual source you are steeped into religion and you are in danger of living a spiritual blockade because religion for the most part is something that can hinder women should not dress like this women should cover their faces all the way to the eyes Uh, I don't know what cannot be done before this cannot be done this cannot be done before this cannot be done this a lot of don't do this and don't do that and they have their place even in the constitutions of this world they have their place but the moment we narrow down into religion it gets even much more interesting it gets even much more limiting sometimes the blockades can be there it can be there in the realms of religiosity if we are not careful so i'm not going to go deeper in there i'm just going to leave it hanging and i'm going to ask you to examine yourself is it possible could it be possible that you can do some things and 
your religion is saying you shouldn't that's a blockade and could it be possible that what your religion is saying you should not and i'm not talking about things that are just for pleasing yourself and pleasing your flesh that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about progressive productive compact Im- impacting uh, transformative things that you can be able to do but your religion is telling you no that one is xyz you shouldn't do that it is a blockade chances are that you need to question it and maybe by the way you need to discover that if that is the case probably you are in the wrong you are believing in the wrong thing spirituality needs to be expressive it needs to be free of course within boundaries but the boundaries should not be just narrow bringing it so narrow so narrow we, we try to put physical laws on a spiritual dimension or, a, or on the divine see the divine doesn't operate in our plane p l a n e the divine they operate in a freer very awesome world and in our religiosity we have tried to think we are pleasing the divine by putting a million laws a million rules you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that and by the end of the day it is weary the old testament itself in the bible had i don't know 300 3000 laws something like that how are you going to remember them anyway i am uh, i am touching some things that i am not possible uh, possibly qualified to explain but i just wanted us to know one thing there is a danger in religion for raising up spiritual blockades in our lives and we stand on our way, own way of success propping up our religiosity it is time we examine ourselves and that's that's all i'm going to say about that topic and i'm going to move very fast to the next tomorrow we continue bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.